I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching the Venom vlog. Oh, man. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and you know, I'm still not feeling too well So I figured I would do this episode like I did the last one where we would just kind of use my phone and record us Checking out a website with some information and this is something that you guys some of you wanted me to talk about for a couple days now I, Obviously, I'm not a big fan of what Donny Cates has been doing on Venom um, I like the artwork a lot and I like some of his ideas but I haven't liked a lot of the executions and I know I'm kind of in a minority there but I know some of you also agree with me and if whether you do or not that's okay you know we can have conversations about it down below of why we like it why we don't like it and stuff like that uh, but today I'm not actually here to give my opinion on anything uh, more or less I'm here to talk about the absolute carnage event because you know Marvel released their August solicitations I went and picked up the latest previews uh, from Marvel and it has a four page, you know, intro to Absolute Carnage. I guess it's like the first four pages of the book. So, you know, I won't give that information away here, uh, but they did post that online. So you can definitely find those four pages. I think even Ryan Stegman and Donnie Cates have shared those images online. It's just four free pages you can find out and you can read basically the opening of Absolute Carnage, where it's Eddie Brock explaining to his son Dylan who Null is why they should be worried, what's going on, and that they need to keep a low profile. And then pretty much that ends with them hanging out in Times Square and you see a big wanted, you know, poster for, or was it not a wanted poster, but like a one of the screens in Times Square says Eddie Brock wanted for murder uh, because of what, uh, you know, Cletus Cassidy did at the jail, you know, at Rikers or wherever he was. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so that, you know, it's him setting up, or not Rikers, obviously, but uh, yeah, where it, with the jail he was in and where he like pretended, uh, Cletus Cassidy pretended to be Eddie Brock and, and he killed Lee Price and uh, and then started like a big riot and then killed a bunch of inmates or whatever. So for whatever reason, that's important. You know, I, I think it's, you know, I said in my episode of that where I thought it was silly for Carnage. If he has these big world plans with Null and everything, it seems weird to want to frame Eddie Brock, especially when you're just going to like kill the world anyway. What's the point of framing Eddie Brock? Um, but I guess it's to like lure him out somehow. I don't know. I guess we'll see how that pans out in the storyline. But right now it seems like a, a silly thing to focus on for your, you know, your first you know, part of your plan of taking over the world. <laughs> but, you know, I guess we'll see how that plays out soon. But I want to go over basically all the books coming out in August. So in August 2019, we're going to get Absolute Carnage, which is a four issue miniseries, which I'm actually happy about. I'm, I'm glad it's not like a, a drawn out six or eight issue series, you know, like because they could have easily done that with how popular Venom is right now, especially the book and how well it's selling. They could have easily dragged this out. And I'm glad they're just going to bang it out in three months, which is really, really awesome. So for August, September and October, we're going to get, you know, the main book, which is four issues, and then we're going to get a bunch of tie in issues. Uh, and then there's going to be even some, you know, issues of Spider-Man and Venom that uh, this event is going to bleed into. So that's kind of neat. So obviously we have Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman doing the main book here. And I'll show like a, a you know, cover or two. We'll just click on them real quick. Uh, that's a pretty cool one. It's a, a not, I think that's a Bagley one. Yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, this is another cover that's going to be for issue number one. Uh, here's another variant cover. And uh, then we have this last one here. And again, Carnage is not, like, Cletus Cassidy is not in the Carnage symbiote per se in the storyline. He's in the Grendel suit, and he's rebuilding it so he can uh, further strengthen his connection to Null and possibly wake Null up to bring Null to Earth. So I think this story is not going to end with Null coming to Earth and everybody fighting him. I don't think that's the route they're going to go. I think this is going to be a Carnage-focused story, obviously. And it's kind of like, almost like how Sinestro Corps war, uh, war was to Blackest Night. Like, I feel like Donny Cates is pacing his story very much the way Jeff Johns paced his. So it'll be, you know, like, uh, this will be against the fear entity, you know, Carnage will come in and fight, you know, uh, Venom and all the heroes and it'll get everyone involved. And then that'll set up the next, you know, conclusion event, which will probably happen in another year or so when the movie comes out, when the sequel movie comes out, and we'll probably get the big battle with Null at that point. So I'm not ex expecting this story to end here. I think this is just like the midpoint of Donny Cates' story. Uh, but you'll see also the book is 72 pages and it's seven ninety nine. Um, so that's pretty great. It's so 60 pages of story, which I think also Spawn number 300 is. 
as well. It's like 60 pages of story and 12 pages of ads or whatever and cover and stuff for $7.99. So yeah, it's not a bad price uh, for that amount of, of uh, content, uh, in my opinion. So then we have Absolute Carnage number two. So issue one comes out the first week of, um, of August, and this comes out the third week of August. So we're going to get this you know series out quickly. And so here's a cover issue two. And, uh, oops, sorry. And then we have another cover over here, which is the Ryan Stegman cover. That's really cool. It's him and Miles. So I, I like that they're bringing Miles back in, and he's going to play a part in this, especially after issue, I think, three it was, of the main book, which I really liked. I thought that was a really strong issue. So uh, I didn't have a lot of uh, critiques in that issue. So, uh, yeah, that's and that's going to be $4.99, so, and, but it's 40 pages. So, yeah, Ryan Stegman's drawing the hell out of this series, uh, that's for sure. So uh, that's why he, you know, hasn't been on the book recently because he's been working on this so much. Uh, then we're also going to get this trade paperback called Spider-Man, The Many Hosts of Carnage. And that will this will be on sale in September, actually. But in this one, you're going to see, like, you know, uh, different issues where Carnage has been connected to Cletus Cassidy, when he was connected to Ben Riley, I think when he was connected for Spider Carnage, I think when he's connected to the Silver Surfer, I believe those issues are in here. So you're just going to get a bunch of uh, random, you know, Carnage appearances, but you're also going to get Carnage USA 1 through 5 and Superior Carnage 3 through 5 for some reason, not 1 through 5, uh, I guess because a lot of this has been, you know, collected in other things. But then you're also going to get the Red Goblin series from Dan Slott, where it's a 798 to 800 and that's where norman osborne had possession of the carnage symbiote so uh yeah so there you go so that way you can be kind of caught up on what the symbiote's been up to and the when the last time you saw it was before this series takes off uh then we'll have venom number 17 here so obviously we're going to get tie-in issues for venom issue 17 18 and 19 throughout the months of august september and october so those books are going to keep going and iban i think and i don't know if, if you actually say it as iban or ivan um, I, I don't know how it's pronounced. I saw a couple different people uh, and heard a couple different ways. So I, I apologize if I've been saying his name wrong this whole time. Um, I just was reading it, you know, kind of phonetically the way it, the way it's written out. But uh, but if I'm wrong, you know, I, I apologize. Uh, but uh, also covered by Kyle Hotz here, which looks awesome with Venom versus the five symbi Life Foundation symbiotes and a couple and Carnage, I think, in there too. So uh, yeah, and it looks like his son in the bottom right corner. Uh, his recent son <laughs> venom's recent child um so in this story it's going to focus on him protecting dylan i guess at all costs so donny cates will be doing kind of double duty he'll be writing this book uh as a tie-in and the main book as well so we get that we get absolute carnage versus deadpool one of three so august issues one uh september issue two and october issue three so this will be probably i, mean, I don't know could be fun frank terry's writing it um, I saw that he, him and Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, whenever they go to conventions together, they sell VIP tickets to hang out with them after the show for like an extra hour to just talk about things, talk about Venom and stuff, which I don't know, that's a cool idea uh, for sure. Um, so, uh, so if you're out there and you see these guys go into a convention, you know, make sure you follow them on social media because you could get a chance to hang out with them if you want, you know, and you, they'll sign your stuff. So when you're paying to hang out with them, it's not just just to hang out. I mean, I think they'll sign your, your things and, you know, just you know, hang out with you and talk to you, which I think is probably worth it because how many times you get to hang out with a creator and talk to them about their ideas. Um, and so I don't know, even though I'm not a big fan of some of the work, uh, I, I, well, I would say I, w I probably wouldn't pass that opportunity up because it would be fun to pick these guys brains a little bit and kind of understand where they come from with some of their ideas. So uh, Frank Thierry, you know, he usually does that as well. So we're going to get Deadpool versus, uh, you know, this whole thing uh, with absolute carnage. And it's going to he checks himself into Ravencroft Institute. So that's cool that they're going to tie in Ravencroft. And that's one of the things I noticed about these tie in series is that they're they connect a lot to the 90s, like a lot of the 90s stuff, like this one here, Absolute Carnage, Lethal Protectors. And this is going to be a book about uh, John Jameson, um, and, you know, and, and kind of where he's, what he's going through now, and uh, which is great because they kind of set that up. Frank Thierry set that up, and he's going to be the writer of this series. But Frank Thierry set that up of like, you know, John Jameson now possibly being a sleeper cell agent uh, under Carnage's control without us really knowing it yet. Um, so that'll be cool to see how that plays out with this. And uh, they're going to also be at the Ravencroft Institute. So I wonder if they'll cross over with Deadpool at all since Frank Thierry is writing both books and both books appear to be set in the same setting. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, this book will also have Iron Fist in it 
and uh, Cloak and Dagger and Morbius, the Living Vampire. So the, again, they're bringing back people who were in the uh, Maximum Carnage uh, series, like that helped out. Um, so yeah, that's kind of neat. No Death Watch though. Uh, what's up with that? Uh, Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales. We got Saladin Ahmed who's writing this, and uh, it's I'm interested in it because. It's Miles Morales and Scorpion, and that's another loose thread from the recent, the Mike Costa run, and also, obviously, Scorpion was once a Venom, so Carnage might want to, you know, rip a piece of the symbiote out of him, for all we know, so I'm curious to see how they're going to tie that in. I'm not a big fan of Solid in some of his writing. I haven't read a lot of his stuff, but, like, the Spider-Man annual I read, I wasn't really digging too much. Um, but these are going to be the two covers. Both look pretty cool. Black Cat on this cover. I don't know if she's in the book or not, but I hope so. That'd be great. I'm going to buy all these books. You know, I don't know if I'll review them as they come out or not. I, that'll depend on kind of my enjoyment of them. Uh, because like I said, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very critical of this run. I'm not enjoying it as much as a lot of you are. And I don't want every video to be me just putting stuff down that I'm not liking. But if there's stuff in here I genuinely like, I'll probably make videos of them. And then anything I miss, maybe we'll summarize like at the end when, when all three issues are done or something. So uh, I don't know how exactly how I'm going to cover this just yet. But I, I will try to cover as much of it as I can. I know I said originally I was going to wait till trade, but there's just so much information here and so many books coming out that I'm like, well, if I don't keep up with it, then when the trades come out, they'll probably all come out at once. I'll be overwhelmed. So it'll probably be better to knock at least some of these stories out uh, early on. So we have this one, Absolute Carnage Scream by Colin Bunn and uh, Gerardo, uh, Gerardo Sandoval, who was Mike Acosta, Mike Costa's artist in the Lee Price stuff. So... I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about this one because of Patricia Robertson. That's another loose thread that they're tying into. And again, that's the one thing I'll give them credit for and Donnie Cates credit for uh, with this storyline is that they're really pulling back. They're going back to every series of Venom and they're trying to pick up on things that were kind of either left undone or left unsaid or left without closure. And that's cool, especially uh, Patricia Robertson, because I liked that Daniel Way run, and I liked her as a character, and I thought I saw a lot of potential for more stories with her, so the fact that they're going to make her the new Scream is really, really neat, because I don't want this character to go away. I thought she, out of the, all the Life Foundation symbiotes, she was easily the most uh, popular one and interesting one, and the only one they really gave any kind of background to, really, and I liked that. I thought she was great. So, the, you know, here are the two covers. They're going to be Mark Bagley connecting covers, where you get, if you get all three issues uh, with the Mark Bagley covers, you'll see all five Life Foundation symbiotes. So that's pretty cool there. There's Lasher and I think Phage or Riot. I can't, can't remember. I think they're going to try to change Riot to look more like the movie version. I think I saw a piece of artwork with that in it recently. Um, but yeah, a lot of these tie-in issues are just $3.99, so that's good that they're not like the $4.99 price point, only the main book is. Um, and then yeah, here we have Absolute Carnage Separation Anxiety by Clay Chapman, who I'm not familiar with at all, and Brian Level, who I'm also not familiar with. So I'm kind of interested to see this uh, this storyline. It says, since the conclusion of Deadpool vs. Carnage, which is a storyline we will cover coming up uh, on the next Carnage week, I believe, uh, for the five life, uh, life Foundation symbiotes, Riot, Phage, Agony, and Lasher have been bonded to a stray dog wandering the Midwest. But as Carnage descends on New York, its siblings will find out it's uh, it impossible to resist the siren song of Null. So that this sounds neat to me. And Philip Tan did this cover here. Um, so I think these will be maybe connecting covers. I don't know if they're going to do that or not. But uh, yeah, you can see Agony here. Lasher looks like it's attached to a woman now. Um, and then Phage maybe as well. And then you can see Riot back there. And yeah, he looks more like the movie version of Riot. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm interested in this. I want to check this one out. And I want to, I definitely want to read Deadpool vs. Carnage so I can, I never read that story before. So we're going to cover that, you know, on the next Carnage week, I believe. So that way I can be caught up on everything. Uh, that, though, is a one-shot. And it's $4.99. And there's a couple different uh, other books that are coming out that are just, uh, I don't think there's, I think Absolute Carnage Separation Anxiety is the only one-shot. Um, the rest are miniseries. So we have the Absolute Carnage main book. Oh, there's an Absolute Carnage Avengers one-shot coming out in September. Um, and then there's also an Absolute Carnage Ghost Rider Symbiote of Vengeance one-shot and Immortal Hulk one-shot. All of those are coming out. Uh, those two are coming out in October. And then there will be uh, issues of Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 30 and 31 will also be tie-ins. 
So yeah, there's just a lot. Like there's just so much of this coming out. There's a lot of books here, but at least it's all coming out in the span of like three months. And those three months might be pretty slow for us movie news wise, because I don't think the movie for the sequel starts filming until I think like uh, November. Like right now, that's the rumor is that it's going to start filming in Atlanta in November. So uh, yeah, we, we won't have anything for August, September, October. We'll just have a lot of speculation. So since we won't have a lot of movie news at that time, this will be fun to cover. So you know what? I'm, I guess we'll do our best. I'll cover as much of it as I can. But if there's anything I'm not really enjoying, you know, I may skip that and just wait till all those issues of that particular series come out and make one video on it instead of reviewing each individual uh, you know, issue. But don't worry, every one I do review, um, I will give out the digital code. So there will be a ton of that going on during this time. But let me know what you think down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on Absolute Carnage. I'm sure a lot of you are excited for it. What are you hoping to see in it? Do you think it will just be the midway story and then Noel will be saved later? That's just how it comes across to me. Like, you know, Noel seems like a, you know, like <laughs> a Necron in a way where just like, oh, it's this big, you know, creature who created a lot of things and it's tethered to things. And, you know, it's just, it. like I said, some of these ideas, I'm like, yeah, I like some of these ideas, but it's because I've seen them done in other versions and by other writers and comics before so uh you know and i'm sure on some level donny cates is you know like looking at venom going yeah i want this to be like my my you know green lantern or my whatever like i, I you know he because i'm sure he looks up to a lot of those writers that you know i look up to as well and i'm sure he's like hey i get a chance here to take a character who wasn't selling like this and brought it up to a level where he is selling. And I commend that. Like, I may not fully be on board with the story, but man, I, I cannot deny that this book, this book is massively successful and that people are loving it. And that, for me as a Venom fan, is great. I want people to like Venom. So if, if this is the book for you and you're loving it, I want to hear your thoughts. And if you're excited for this event coming up with Carnage, I also want to hear everything you want to say down below in the comments, and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.